Hey, happy, happy Wednesday. How's everybody's week going so far? We are finally looking like we're gonna get a little bit of rain here, which I'm super excited about. Um, usually the monsoon season happens later in you know, like July for Arizona. So I see some big thunder clouds in the sky today and that makes me very, very happy. So who has anything exciting to report? Um, I have something exciting to report. Fat Loss Foundations, the group coaching program started on Monday. We had our first call and it, I'm so excited for this group. It's going, you know, first call was awesome. We've got a good group of people. And, you know, if you're kind of like on the outskirts, kind of just watching and not sure if you want to, maybe you applied, but you didn't have a call or you didn't apply, but you're just still kind of like thinking about it, know that um, this is the first round. So probably like in, you know, in about three or four months after the 12 week program wraps up, you know, I'm definitely gonna run it again. So know that there are definitely still opportunities to get in and on the action um, because this is just the beginning and I'm so, so excited. Uh, if I know that we're right now on Wednesday, enrollment does officially close on Saturday. So if you're like, oh, this is my last minute opportunity and you wanna jump in, you still can, so just let me know and I'd be happy to have you. Um, but let's get right to our discussion question from yesterday, which was, how do you handle going on vacation while still paying attention to your nutrition and fitness goals? And we got so many awesome responses. So we had a really great conversation going in the comments, which you know I love. And we had a nice, um, you know, many different people chimed in on terms of what they do. Um, we have people who like to find new cool gyms. We have other people who pack healthy snacks. Other people who just say, screw it, I'm just gonna enjoy myself. And I think that's all valid and all really awesome ideas. And so, you know, I wanted to have this as the opportunity to go through some of my recommendations. If you are going on a trip and uh, like, of course, relax, enjoy your time. Um, if you know, do that, if that's what is best for you. Now, if you are like, I don't want to throw everything out the window. I still want to be somewhat mindful while enjoying vacation. These are the tips that I think are gonna be really um, important and helpful to you. So let's get right to it. My top priority while, um, you know, whether you're on vacation or you're on a trip somewhere else or a road trip or whatever, um, I'm gonna sound like a broken record because this is a priority like all, all times, but I think on vacation we can forget about it a lot, which is hydration. So. Whether you are maybe in a place that is more humid, maybe you're in a tropical cool place or you're by the ocean or you're not, <laughs> uh, or you're flying or you're driving, travel dehydrates you. And I think a big piece of that is just being out of your normal element and not in your normal routine. So that's when hydration can kind of fall to the wayside, you forget about it, maybe you don't have your normal water bottle with you. So big, big priority would be stay hydrated. Um, so maybe that means you bring your water bottle with you. I know that's what I do. I bring my empty water bottle um, through security. And then as soon as I'm through security, I filled up. Thankfully, most airports have a ton of uh, those water filling stations now. So that's helpful. You don't have to buy freaking $8 bottle of water at one of the newsstand things. But, um, so yes, hydration is my number one um, recommendation. Bring your water bottle with you, be mindful, and especially if you're eating out a lot, that's gonna be higher sodium food. So you're gonna be thirstier. Maybe you're drinking more alcohol than you would normally. Um, so for all of these reasons, hydration should be a top priority. 
Um, another really big priority uh, that is a way to help you feel satisfied with your meals and less likely to overeat while still enjoying eating out and enjoying your, your vacation meals is to make sure you have protein with each meal. So um, even if it's a little bit, um, so that would be really important to make sure that, all right, maybe you're out to eat and you're picking something, just make sure you do have some protein with each meal to have that satisfaction to make it through to the next meal and to help to you know preserve your muscle. Maybe you're not working out as much, but we still wanna make sure you're meeting your protein goals. And so piggybacking off of that, if you kind of want to make sure that you have some extra protein sources on hand, um, maybe bring some healthy snacks, some protein bars. I usually bring little um, sample things of protein powder. Not saying that I necessarily eat them or need them, but it's kind of nice to have that backup of knowing that you're going to be able to have a quick protein source if you need it. Um, and the same thing goes for your snacks. So I don't know about you, but for me on vacation, I feel like I'm less likely to eat three square meals because if you're eating out a lot, then it's kind of like maybe not eating out for all three meals. Maybe it's eating out for like two or one bigger one. And so whatever it is that you, you usually do, um, having some snacks or making sure that you don't go too long between meals, it will be a good way to manage your blood sugars, help with your energy levels, and to make sure you don't get so hungry that you're more likely to overeat or overdo it when you do have, maybe you go out for dinner or something like that. The bread comes and you're just like so hungry that you're going to eat down all the bread on the table. We want to avoid that. So, the other one is about movement. So if you are at a place that has a gym and you want to work out, I think that's amazing. If you're at a place and you want to explore a new cool gym, I think that's amazing. If you are like, I'm not going to really worry about it, I'm going to enjoy my vacation, fine. That is totally fine. Um, I would say if that's the case, Let's try to be a little bit more um, mindful about getting increasing your NEAT. Your NEAT is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is basically a fancy scientific way of saying just like your daily movement. Not structured exercise, but just walking around, doing the things, maybe you're, you know, exploring a new city, walking on the beach, whatever it is. So if you know that you're not getting your normal workouts, try to increase your NEAT um, so that you are still moving your body, you're still uh, burning some calories. We're not thinking about it necessarily as burning calories, but I want you to think of it as just increasing your daily movement even if your normal workouts are not the same, which is totally fine too. I know also other people who bring like with little resistance bands because they're travel friendly and they can fit in your bag and you can do it in a hotel room or wherever. So the, the main thing is, is don't feel like stressed out that you have to work out. And if you don't work out or you're not able to work out, then try to increase your daily movement in other ways. Those are my top three tips, hydration, Protein with each meal. I guess I did four. <laughs> Hydration, protein with each meal, making sure you don't go too long between meals, so maybe bringing some healthy snacks, and increasing your NEAT if you are not having normal workouts. So, which one of those four tips do you think is the easiest to implement into your life or your your vacation i'd love to know so comment which one you think is the easiest to integrate and um let's continue the conversation i'm super excited for everybody in this group we've had a nice uh big influx of people lately and that just makes me so excited more opportunities to connect, more opportunities to celebrate each other, more opportunities to help each other. So don't be shy 
any questions you have, just post it in the group. Any wins you'd like to celebrate, just post it in the group. This group is for you and I'm here for you. So don't be shy. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Have a fabulous rest of your night. Talk soon.